Shalom and blessings. It is wonderful to be here with you to share God's word. We hope and pray that as we dwell into God's word, we will be encouraged and we will continue to keep learning. Today in our devotions, we are going to be talking about the topic of faith, which is the very fiber and vein of our Christian living. Even as we go through the next few days, learning about the people of faith, Today, our focus is going to be on Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. These two verses are like an epilogue to Hebrews chapter 11, where it talks about the praiseworthy journey, uh, faith journeys of Lord of men and women. And the focus that we have here today is on Jesus. The, the verse talks about two descriptive nouns that describes Jesus. It says that Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. The author to mean that he is the originator, he is the founder. The Greek word means chief prince or the captain, like one who steers the ship. And he is also the, um, the finisher, which, is, which means he is the perfecter, the completer, the consummator of our faith. So Jesus is the source and origin of our faith, he is also the goal and end of our faith. When we say that Jesus is the source and origin of our faith, it is in Him that faith begins. It is because of Him faith exists. Because of what He did on the cross for each one of us, our faith exists. Apart from Jesus, the faith that is generated is no faith at all because the object is in itself worthless. When we look at Jesus being the goal and end of our faith, our faith is directed in Him and it is also uh, in Him that finds its completion. He is the one who makes us into His image, conforms us into His likeness. So when we live this life of faith, let us remember that Jesus walked, this, uh, walked a life of faith. He led the way of faith. And it is a source of encouragement for each one of us because Jesus not only creates our faith, but He also watches over our faith and He even sustains our faith. So we do not have to strive because He is there to help us in our journey of faith. So let's look unto Jesus who creates our faith, who watches over it and is faithful to sustain it. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank You for who You are to us, the author and finisher of our faith. You steer our life like the captain of a ship and you, you bring our faith to its completion. We are so grateful that in you, our faith is directed and you bring it all to perfection. We praise you and we ask that we will live a life of faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.